I just got done watching Missing. This is the semi-sequel spin-off to the original film Searching, which came out a couple years ago. And that movie all took place on your computer screen. And well, Missing does the same. So for this review, we're on a computer screen today. Let me just say, Missing is about a girl who, when her mother disappears while on vacation in Colombia with her new boyfriend, June's search for answers is hindered by international red tape. Stuck thousands of miles away in Los Angeles, June creatively uses all the latest technology at her fingertips to try and find her before it's too late. However, she digs even deeper. Her digital sleuthing soon raises more questions than answers. This stars the likes of Storm Reid and Nia Long. And once again, like I mentioned, I loved searching that was one of the biggest surprises of that year because unfriended had done the whole computer technology type thing and honestly the concept was better than the actual story in those movies and they were very disappointing but searching was a big surprise because the story itself warranted everything that they were showing on the screen and as well as that film in general was just fabulous it was fascinating and overall it was really well done specifically in its story now with searching i did find the the twist to be a little bit too obvious in there i didn't think they had enough characters to really play out this kind of who done it type of situation missing though I was worried that the director was not coming back from searching. Even though he wrote the story, I was still worried that we were getting new directors, new pretty much creative overheads besides the, again, the original director writing the script for this with them. But I'm here to say that I actually think Missing is better than Searching in a lot of different departments in a lot of different ways. I think the performance from Searching, of course, is still like one of the top tier things from that film. And easily, I still think is my favorite performance if I was to rate both the performances in here. But we'll talk about the ones in here. I just, I really love the story in here and I love the different avenues and twists and turns that they really play out in here because right before a twist is revealed, it clicks for you for what is going on and it gets such a great audience reaction and specifically if you take a loved one or a family or friends and you're sitting there and you're watching the movie with them you're going to be kind of whispering to them on what is going on and it's those elements in general that I think make the film itself more engaging and I'm really excited to talk about this movie so if you are new here make sure to hit that like and subscribe button so we can keep up the date on movies I try to post a new video every single day on this channel as well as leave your thoughts down below did you guys like searching have you not seen searching you don't need to see it before seeing this movie but if you want an excellent double feature and you are someone who loves like crime mystery thrillers these two films are right up your alley kicking off with this movie let's jump into my pros and starting with that I want to talk about the performances here because Storm Reid I've actually been a pretty big fan of her I think she's great in Euphoria. She was the best part about A Wrinkle in Time. And anytime she shows up in something, she's fabulous. I cannot wait to see her play Riley in The Last of Us because I think that is such great casting. But looking at her as an actress, this is really much her first singular debut kind of going forward as the lead character since A Wrinkle in Time that I've at least seen. And she's incredible in this role. Now again, searching, great leading performance. This is just right up there. I still like the searching one just a bit more because of the material that the actor got to work with. But I loved Storm in here. I think this is hands down my favorite performance I've seen with her on par of Euphoria. And specifically the way that they kind of build the relationship between her and her mother. Even though we don't get a lot of build up in the beginning of the film, as the film plays out you start to see a lot of that. And desperation in Reed's entire mannerism takes a lot specifically because again it's all taking place on your laptop so you don't there's so much different things to miss about the other thing i want to say is nia long as her mother is fa fabulous now again she's not in the movie much because she's missing overall found that every single person in this film does exactly what they need there is one big standout and again if you've seen the movie the actor who played javi his name is joaquin d Alamady, I might be pronouncing that wrong, but he, he he was a standout. I had fun with him. I thought he was great, and he was a great ally to the entire situation, specifically how he comes into play in here. Now, while we get the performances out of the way, I want to talk about the technology piece, because I like I mentioned when reading off the synopsis, new pieces of technology come out each and every year, new things that adapt to our generations. And in searching, at the time of that film coming out, there was a lot of different things at that aspect that we would watch and be like, yeah, this is something that we've used. And within Missing, there's obviously all those things plus newer nuances. And that was the one thing going into this movie that I was a little bit worried about, was that this was going to feel like a lesser version of Searching. Not because we didn't have the same directors, but overall because, again, someone goes missing. It's all taking place on a laptop. What other story can you tell here to ravel us around and keep the twists and turns all still thrilling and give new ideas 
that play fun at some of the tech aspects that we look at here. And there's a lot, without getting into spoilers, there's a lot of stuff they use in here that I really loved. As subtle details as just certain text messages and the way that certain texts light up or certain things that track our phones, whether it's Google accounts or things like those manners. These are tech pieces that I love that they were able to really place in here. And they go far and few between certain things that I don't even use, but I know of. They place in here and use for a great way to further the story. New tech pieces like Apple Watches and everything like that that add to the overall tone. I was overall very impressed with everything that they were able to do and establish in this mannerism, and I think a lot of people are going to have fun seeing how those elements work. Almost each and every second that a new piece of technology is added, there's a new piece of the story that comes about and plays about and adds to that. And again, one of my favorite things I love about this movie, and just like how I loved it in Searching, is right before a twist or a turn's about to happen, you guess it right then and there. And I love it because then it happens, you're like, oh my god, how did I not see that coming? Some things my fiancé right next to me told me that she saw coming, but other things we didn't. And I think that's a lot of the fun of watching this with a friend or a family or a loved one for the most part. I think when it comes down to the director, Nicholas D. Johnson and Will Merrick, they did a fabulous job with this movie, even especially with the screenplay with, of course, Agnish, who did the original one. So twists and turns in here that really grab you, and those are the things that are going to continue to grab you throughout this movie and keep you attached to the film. The other thing I want to add in here is something that Searching did really well is adding into that emotion, making you really feel and care about the relationship. Other, Obviously, that was a father-daughter relationship, a father trying to find his daughter, and this one is a daughter trying to find her mother. You do start to build that relationship really far up in there, and overall, I thought it really worked for the entire thing because I think it just makes you want to say, yeah, I love my parents. I should probably text them and hit them up right after this movie because that's when it makes you feel like, what if you were in this scenario? What lengths would you go to? And I was just impressed by that overall. I don't think Missing is perfect. And I do want to say that. I do think this movie is a little bit slower paced than Searching in certain departments. I found Searching's story to be a little bit too predictable because of not the many characters and scenarios where in Missing there's so many different characters. And I like that aspect. But at times the pacing does feel a little bit dragged down and slow because of certain conversations that they're having and certain things that kind of feel a little bit of a roundabout. And these are just small sections that I probably would have just cut up just a hair because it does get a little bit repetitive, which again, in this era of so many things ha coming to Netflix where they're just complete different murder stories or unsolved crimes, these are things that this movie plays off of. But some of those things feel a little bit too on the nose. And again, add to the overall slowing down of the pacing. But it's such a small nitpick. It's just something I want to mention that I don't think this movie is perfect. So when I give my score, you guys aren't like, Zach, you didn't mention any issues. See, I was surprised by Missing. I thought this was such a great surprise. I didn't know what to expect. I didn't see a trailer. I saw the poster. I saw who was in it. And I'm like... Are you going to be able to top search and give me more of that with an added bonus? And they absolutely did with a phenomenal starring performance from Storm Reid. I cannot wait to see her again in The Last of Us. And overall, in general, just talking about the way that they handle technology in here. I think Missing is a great addition to this. And I hope that we get at least one more film in this entire trilogy of whatever you want to call it. They keep hinting at freaking aliens in each and every one of these things. And I'm telling you right now. If we do not get an alien one next called abduction or something, I'm going to be disappointed. Jokes aside, I really dug missing. And I think for January, I'm turning out to be a really great year so far for movies because we got Megan. That was kind of surprising and fun. Plane was absolutely surprising and fun. And now this is so far my favorite film of the year of the three that I've seen so far. But thank you so much again for watching this, guys. And with that said, I'm going to give Missing a B+. Thank you so much again, guys, for watching this. Again, if, if it wasn't just for the pacing, I probably would have loved this film a little bit more. Maybe I'm just a little bit tired and I need to see this film again. But I cannot wait to express and tell people to go see this film because this is such a damn good thrilling movie. But thank you so much again for watching this. Hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. And of course, until next time, stay class.